hello viewers in today's class we are going to take up a very important conceptual integral uh, from 0 to 2 pi mod of sin x right so here we will uh, evaluate this integral so let us uh, call this integral as i and we have to integrate uh, mod of sin x from uh, 0 to 2 pi right so before uh, integrating this function uh, let us first uh, sketch the graph of mod of sin x from 0 to 2 pi right so uh, let us uh, assume that f of x denotes mod of sin x right so now here uh, we have uh, the four quadrants this is the first quadrant this is second this is third and this is fourth right so here we have zero here we have pi by two here we have pi and here we have three pi by two and here we have two pi right now from uh, the trigonometry uh, we know that uh, the sine function is positive in the first and uh, second quadrant right so sin x is positive in the first quadrant as well as uh, in second quadrant right okay so we have uh, the third and fourth quadrant and in third and fourth quadrant uh, sin x is uh, negative right so sin x is negative so now uh, let us uh, uh, split the interval uh, 0 to 2 pi uh, into two intervals uh, one from 0 to pi and other is from pi to 2 pi right so we can write the function f of x equal to mod of sin x as uh, sin x right from the definition of uh, uh, absolute value function we know that if f of x is equal to mod of x then mod of x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and this is equal to minus x when x is less than 0 right so utilizing this definition here uh, mod of sin x is equal to sin x when x lies between uh, 0 and pi right so when we go from 0 to pi uh, mod sin x is equal to uh, plus sin x right similarly when we go from pi to 2 pi then mod of sin x is equal to minus sin x when x is greater than or equal to pi but less than or equal to 2 pi right now uh, let us uh, sketch the graph of uh, this function uh, from 0 to 2 pi right so here we have the y axis and this is the x axis and let us take uh, one here and and let us take here pi by 2 here we can take pi then we have 3 pi by 2 and here we have 2 pi right now uh, let us uh, assign the values to this variable x and uh, we'll find the value of mod sin x corresponding to the value of x let us take the value of x as 0 and uh, when we have x equal to 0 then the value of uh, f of x because f of x is mod of sin x so the value of mod sin 0 is 0 that is 0 right so here we have 0 clear now let us take the value of x as pi by 2 now when we take uh, the value of x as pi by 2 then the value of mod sin pi by 2 is uh, simply 1 right let us take the value uh, of x as pi 
so when x is equal to pi then the value of mod sine pi is equal to a mod of 0 that is equal to 0 so here we have 0 right now let us take the value of x as 3 pi by 2 so when we take x equal to 3 pi by 2 then the value of uh, uh, sine uh, 3 pi by 2 is equal to mod of uh, minus 1 that is equal to 1 so here we have 1 right and finally let us take the value of x as 2 pi so when we have x equal to 2 pi then mod of sine 2 pi is equal to mod of 0 that is equal to 0 right so here we have uh, mod of sin x is equal to 0 right so now uh, we have uh, here five points and the coordinates are 0 comma 0 corresponding to uh, this value and then we'll have pi by 2 comma 1 and here we have pi comma 0 then we have 3 pi by 2 comma 1 and then we'll have 2 pi comma 0 right so now uh, let us plot uh, these five points uh, here uh, in the coordinate plane so here we have 0 comma 0 so we will have the point here right then we have pi by 2 comma 1 so we'll have the point here clear okay then we'll have pi comma 0 so we'll have the point here and then we have 3 pi by 2 comma 1 so we'll have the point here clear okay. and then we have 2 pi comma 0 and 2 pi comma 0 uh, lies here clear okay. now uh, let us join these points and uh, when we join these points we'll get a curve like this so here we have the curve like this so we'll have a curve like this so this is the graph of a rough graph of uh, the function f of x equal to mod of sin x from uh, 0 to 2 pi right so here uh, we have the point uh, 0 comma 0 and let us denote this point by by o and this is the point o here we have pi by 2 comma 1 so let us denote this point by a so this is point a pi comma 0 lies here so let us call this point as b so here we have b then we have 3 pi by 2 comma 1 which lies here so let us call this point as c and then we have 2 pi comma 0 and let us call this point as d right so this is how uh, we uh, sketch the graph of this function f of x equal to mod of sin x from 0 to 2 pi now uh, let us uh, evaluate this integral right so this integral now uh, represents uh, the area uh, which is enclosed here right so this is the uh, shaded area right so we have to uh, find out uh, this area and in other words we can say that uh, if we evaluate this integral then the value of this integral will represent the area uh, which is shaded here so now uh, we can uh, split this integral as a sum of two integrals right one from uh, 0 to pi that is from 0 to pi right so we can write uh, 0 to pi and here we have f of x dx right and then uh, we can uh, write the other integral from pi to 2 pi from pi to 2 pi so we'll have the integral from pi to 2 pi and here we have f of x dx right now this is uh, 
the integral from 0 to pi and for f of x uh, we can write uh, mod of sin x and mod of sin x is equal to uh, sin x when x lies between 0 and pi so here we have sin x right okay and when we have the integral from pi to 2 pi then f of x is equal to uh, mod of sin x is equal to uh, negative of sin x and here we have dx right so now we have to uh, integrate uh, these two integrals or these two functions right so now the integral of sin x is minus of cos x and the limits are from 0 to pi and taking this negative sign here the integral of sin x is minus cos x and we have the limits from pi to 2 pi and here we can take this negative sign outside uh, the brackets and then we can uh, substitute the limits and take the difference so we have cos pi minus cos 0 right and here this negative sign and this negative sign when these two uh, get multiplied will have the positive sign and uh, we are left with only cos x and substituting the limits and taking the difference will have cos 2 pi minus cos pi right okay now we have the value of cos pi as minus 1 cos 0 is 1 and cos 2 pi is 1 and the value of cos pi is minus 1 right okay so now uh, we can uh, solve this expression and here we'll get minus minus 1 and minus 1 is minus 2 and here we have 1 uh, minus minus plus so 1 plus 1 2 right and this is minus and minus plus so we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4 right so the value of uh, this integral is 4 and this 4 represents the shaded area right so the geometrical representation of this integral is the total area uh, which is shown here the shaded portion right so the first integral uh, which is uh, 0 to pi sin x dx this is say i1 and from pi to 2 pi this is minus sin x dx and this is integral i2 so the value of i1 is 2 and the value of i2 is also 2 so it means the area this area this area is 2 square units and this area is also 2 square units so the total area is 4 uh, square units right so viewers this is how uh, we solve this problem